drive out to today's history lesson. I hope you had a good break and all handed in your homework about the Incas. Okay, so our new topic for this term is, drum roll please, the Aztecs. So today's Walt is find out about the Aztecs and Will's what I'm looking for, everyone asking questions and everyone listening. Okay, so we'll move straight on. So ask lots of questions and listen carefully and you'll find out the 10 most interesting facts. Tomorrow there'll be a quiz on what we've learnt so far. So listening ears open and brain switched on. Yes, Rebecca? Who were the Aztecs, Mr Lewis? They were a nomadic hunting tribe that wandered from place to place. In 12,000 AD, they migrated into Mesoamerica looking for food. 125 years later, they settled in present-day Mexico City. They built a large and powerful city on one small island called Tetuitium. Yes, Rebecca? Did they all fit on the small island, Mr Lewis? Good question, Rebecca. No, their population grew too big, so they decided to make their island bigger. Yes? Make an island bigger? That's impossible! You may think so, but they built large wooden rafts, covered them in mud and fixed them to the lake bed. Believe it or not, they lived on these rafts and farmed on them as well. Okay, get your answers out, children. Can you find where Mexico is? Found it! Well done, Rebecca. It's between the Gulf of Mexico and the North Pacific Ocean. That's right. The Aztecs grew their own power to conquer almost all the land around their original settlement, shown here in green. They call themselves Mexica, and this is originally Mexico. Yes, Rebecca? What sort of house did they live in, Mr Lewis? Most of them did not have very much. They lived first of all in homes of just reason, and later on they built houses made from bricks and mud. But they only had one roof for the whole family to share. It was only the noble people that could build stone houses near to the palace walls. Yes, Rebecca, another question. How did they get their food? I don't think there would have been any supermarket. Yes, Rebecca, definitely no. Sainsbury's, Tesco's or Asda. <laughs> lots, of them, lots of the Aztec people were farmers. They could lots of different fruits and vegetables to eat on their swampy land that they had created, but also good hunters and fishermen. Yes? What about their religion? Did they believe in God? No, but they were religious believing in lots of different gods, which they thought controlled lots of things like the weather, whether it rained or not, whether the fires burned, and whether the crops had grown fell. I could show you some pictures of their gods. Here are some examples. So we've got Tyler. The god of rain, storm, thunder, and lightning. Quiscacoat, god of knowledge and the wind. And Textapotia, my favourite, the god, in, god of the night from fate, controlling how lucky and how rich you were. They worshipped their gods with sacrifice, including human blood, which meant they had to kill people. The priests dyed their bodies black, wore black clothes, and never cut their hair. Yes, Rebecca? Have you got it? A picture, Mr. Lewis, of what they look like. Aren't you most certainly have? Most of them made their own clothes and would and would have just worn long clothes, just like in this, just like in this picture. Yes. Mr. Lewis, what language did they speak? Did they count and write like us? Their language was called Nahuatl. They made up a system of pictures to write that used to make them a kind of alphabet. They had hundreds of different symbols to use, a bit like the Egyptians. Here are two examples of the words war and dead body. When they needed to count again, they used different pictures. I can show you here. Number one, we'll show them the flag. I set the side, stood for 
400 and the uh, 3,000 will show by how much we're carrying in the cent. AD, many people who buy the Aztec leaders were not very happy about the way they were being treated and how they had to live. They had to pay lots of taxes and their people were being sacrificed. They joined up with explorers and arrived from Spain and attacked the capital when they won. Here's a picture of the battle. They built Mexico City on the top of a destroyed Aztec capital. That was the end of the Aztecs. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and remember we'll be having a short quiz tomorrow on what we have learned. Bye bye, have a good lunch.